We're excited that this is the first 3D printer in the state of Iowa. Uh, got here earlier in the week and we're training a, an Iowa-based crew for us to begin 3D printing homes here in Iowa. So what we're looking at is uh, this is a 3D printer that prints on site. You can do this in a um, uh, controlled environment as well. We do it all on site. So there's three main components. Your raw material gets put into the silo that goes into the pump system. Then we mix everything on site. That material is then pumped directly through the hose to the print head, and the print head layers out the home exterior walls layer after layer. And the reason why this is beneficial is we can do the exterior walls of a 1,500 square foot home in 20 to 25 hours. So you're knocking off about two to four weeks off of the framing time. You also have a reduction of cost in your material, uh, is far less than using lumber, and you have a savings in labor. You technically only need two people to run the printer. We're using four today. And so the next two to three years are really going to be key to see how this new industry grows. Right now, the cost savings is minimal using this technology compared to stick built. Over the next two years, we see the advancements that are coming, and the goal is to get to 30% savings for a 3D concrete printed home versus a stick built home. We've been reached out to by, at this point, well over 20 communities all over the state that want to see this happen and want to see how do we use innovation to make housing more affordable. So we're in discussions with many of them. Uh, it's really exciting. I'm excited so I can stay here in Iowa and not have to keep going to Virginia and Florida, which are our other strategic states. But since we printed the first home in the world that has a family living in it, which we did last year in Virginia, we get 25 uh, requests on average per hour from every state in the country, 15 different countries around the world. It really illustrates how bad the problem is. And at the end of the day, if our goal is to build community and create community, it doesn't matter if you don't have anywhere to live. So housing is at the base. We have to solve this problem before we tackle anything else.